Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bots in this video is Transformers Generation Selects and Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Deep Cover. Yes, two repaints of the same bot from two different lines using the Siege Sideswipe mold, who more or less has become the Autobot Seeker mold. So taking a quick look at the packaging, this is the Generation Selects Deep Cover, your normal Generation Selects box, brown cardboard, spray-painted Autobot logo, name on a sticker but when you open him up you'll see that there is no longer a plastic insert the bot is just tied in with these paper ties and you'll notice that this deep cover has a black color scheme to him the netflix version comes in the white netflix transformers box transformers war for cybertron trilogy and you see deep cover cover here he is blue. Got some nice black and white and red and blue artwork there on the side. Looks really good. Back of the package, there's deep cover in robot mode and vehicle mode. Side of the box has kingdom artwork in black and red. So now, without further ado, let's get both of these bots out of their cover and check them out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get your deep covers all open and now the packaging, you'll see that both of them do come with sheets of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. But this is the Siege Sideswipe mold. You should know how to transform these bots by now. The Generation Selects deep cover also comes with a blaster, a smaller blaster that is actually painted. It's black but painted white, and the launcher, which is black with a silver tip. The Netflix deep cover just comes with the smaller blaster, which is in all gray, and the launcher, which is all black. Now let's take a closer look at the figures themselves. Now this review is going to be more of a comparison because I have reviewed this mold before. A couple different times actually so if you want to check out my original siege sideswipe review just click the link above now the first thing you notice of course is the coloring now the generation selects deep cover is designed to look like the 2003 e hobby version which was also a repaint of generation one sideswipe he's primarily black with white and navy where the netflix version is mainly blue with black and a light gray. Now taking a closer look at the face sculpts, I did notice the difference in the eyes. The Generation Selects version has more of a metallic blue for his eyes, where the Netflix version is more of a powder baby blue. Both figures have the Tampagraft Autobot logo right there on the chest, though the Netflix version is battle damaged. And you'll notice the Netflix version 
has battle damage and scuffs all over, just like the Siege figures. I love the details on the Generation Selects version. He's got the crest, colored silver here. He's got the red headlights. There is a tampographed law enforcement shield right there. He's got the white belt buckle, red knees, and the silver feet. Netflix, like I said, he's got all this battle damage. He's got blasts here, scuffs all along the torso, silver headlights, uh, no real paint applications on the waist, and lots of scuffing there on the legs. So as far as paint applications go, the Generation Selects wins this one hands down. Now let's take a look at them in vehicle mode. As expected, Deep Cover's vehicle modes look great. But once again, I have to give it to the Generation Selects version, except for the clear windshield. I do not like that translucent plastic. I like the black on this one, aside from the scuffs right there. I wish this one was all black so you didn't see all the robot junk there on the inside. But other than that, great looking vehicle. I love the tampographed law enforcement shields there. Great paint applications there on the back for the tail lights. I also wish that blue section was black, kind of like the Netflix version. The front of the vehicle looks great. You got the law enforcement logo there and the white and red headlights. It looks really, really good. The Netflix version, lots of battle damage. You see it carries over from robot mode. Scuffed marks there on the canopy, which I still like. I like this canopy. I wish this canopy was on that vehicle. Like I said, uh, back of the vehicle also great paint applications on the back for the taillights. It's funny that all the battle damage is here on the front. Nothing there on the back. The wheels look really good. I'm, I'm so glad they don't have the clip wheels like we're getting with the Earthrise figures and the Kingdom figures. So all in all, vehicle modes look great, but it's got to go to the Generation Selects. Now you can also take the weapons and of course mount them on the vehicle. I like how you can do the double weapon here for the Generation Selects and the single weapon there for the Netflix version. Now I do wish that both of these figures at least came with a light bar because they're supposed to be law enforcement officers, but it is what it is. So there you go guys, deep cover in vehicle mode. The new Transformers Generation Selects and Netflix Deep Cover are really great reuses of a great mold. The Siege Sideswipe mold is used so much because, man, you can't go wrong with it. It is a perfect Transformer mold, as far as I'm concerned, with a great robot mode and great vehicle mode. Now, as far as these two figures are concerned, my vote for the best is the Generation Selects. He comes with an extra weapon, he's got much better paint applications, and I just love the black collar scheme. Not a big fan of his translucent plastic in vehicle mode, but it's nothing I can't live with since I display mine in robot mode anyway. The Netflix version, it's okay, and to be honest, the main reason I got it is I can't wait to see what Toy Hacks has in store for this version of Deep Cover. So all in all, I still think they're both really great, but my money is on the Generation Selects version. So, does the new Transformers Deluxe Class Deep Cover belong in your collection? Well, that depends. How much do you like the Sideswipe mold, and how much do you like repaints? Now, if you only had to pick one, I would go with the Generation Selects. I just feel you get way more bang with your buck for this guy, and he is the same price as the Netflix version. You can find Deep Cover, the Generation Selects version, on Hasbro Pulse, or I found mine at GameStop. The Netflix version is, of course, at Walmart. So, I mean, the ball's in your court on this one. Like I said, I love the color scheme on this guy. This one I bought just to see what the future holds. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. 
Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!